All right, let's talk design trends. Hi everyone, I'm Charlie. I'm a web designer and I make YouTube videos about design. And like most designers, I have an interesting relationship with trends. On one hand, I don't want to follow the crowd and do what everyone else is doing. But on the other hand, sometimes things are popular for a reason. It's cause they work. Either way, I think it's really good for us to stay on top of what's happening in our industry and what our peers are designing. Webflow have gathered together the top web design trends of 2019. And in this video, I want to share my five favorite trends with you. So let's get into it. Up first, I love what is happening with illustration at the moment. It wasn't too long ago that it felt like everything was flat. Every illustration you saw was like this flat design style. Now though, we're seeing a lot more dimension brought back into illustration. I can't really talk about illustration without giving a shout out to Alice Lee and the work she did for Slack. Her cutout illustration style has really taken over the industry, but one of my favorite trends for 2019 is the way people are pushing this cutout style. We are seeing photo collages like these ones from Medium and Intercom. Uh, we're seeing more dimension being added to the cutout shapes. One of my favorite examples here is this one by the design studio Outcrowd that's inspired by Papercraft. Illustrations are also looking a whole lot less perfect and even going abstract at times like this one here. And honestly, it's just making browsing the web a whole lot more interesting. So let's keep on pushing those illustration styles. All right, I have to tell you that before I was a web designer, I was a print designer. So I'm loving seeing how a lot of websites these days are utilizing super large type. It looks very dramatic, doesn't it? And usually you can only fit one or two words per line when you really ramp up the font size like this. So that means that you process a sentence in pieces rather than like seeing it as a whole. Check out this example here on HuffPost. This is what you see above the fold on my MacBook. So you've really got to scroll to read that whole headline. This is definitely a really common way of setting type and creating hierarchy in print. So it's cool to see it being brought over to the web and letting that copy take up a lot of screen real estate. Speaking of print design, CSS Grid is another one of my favorite trends for 2019 because it gives you this freedom and flexibility with your design that previously you could really only get if you were designing for print. If for some reason you haven't heard of CSS Grid, then get this, it allows you to center things both vertically and horizontally. What? And just in general, it allows you to be really creative with your layouts and create cool stuff like this site here. Despite how great it is, it's not being utilized all that much yet. According to Chrome platform status, just 1.5% of page views use CSS Grid. And I can see why, because if we look at this cross browser support graph here, it's, it's not totally there. And because it's still fairly new, that means a lot of the larger sites haven't been refactored to use it yet. But if you are starting a new site, I definitely recommend you check it out. Okay, if I say to you, software marketing website, I'm going to bet that you might picture something like this. Last year though, us designers started to get sick of this heading on hero image trope and uh, we moved on to this. We've put the text in the CTA on the left and an image on the right. I'm not just making fun of other designers here, by the way, I've used this layout too. There is a good reason why so many sites use this layout for their header section though. It's easy to read. It's a good clear introduction to the product and it makes the CTA super easy to find. So we're gonna be seeing a lot more headers like this in 2019. Here's another trend that I've definitely taken part in, overlapping all of the things. You've probably heard of card-based design where we'll group elements together that are related. Uh, lately though, it's become really popular to not just put these elements into a block together, but actually to put them on top of each other. I love this trend not only as a way to group elements together and create context, but also for the dimension that it can add to a 2D design. Similar to some of the illustration styles I showed you earlier, overlapping things can give like a collage effect and really create a lot of depth. In 2019, we're gonna see a lot more exploration into overlapping things like this and grouping elements, and I'm excited to see what that brings. So those, my friends, are my five current favorite web design trends. If you wanna hear about more though, you should definitely go check out this post here over on the Webflow blog where they've rounded up the top 20 web design trends for 2019. Give it a read, see how many you've intentionally or accidentally taken part in. Like I said, there's several on this list that have made their way into my designs. All right, thanks for watching everyone.